Hi lovely people, I just have a tiny amount of time before I go out on tutor so I thought I'd quickly record this exam question go through. A lot of people have been asking me for AQA examples so here is one. I'm looking at the chemistry specimen paper from the additional science board and I'm just going to go through a rates of reaction question quickly and show you the sorts of things you need to be looking out for. As always make sure you read the question fully um, and obviously there'll be clues in there as to how you need to answer it so you must read every word. So, a student investigated the rate of reaction between marble and hydrochloric acid. The student used an excess of marble. The reaction can be represented by this equation, which is calcium carbonate plus hydrochloric acid forms calcium chloride, which is a salt, plus water, plus carbon dioxide. It's worth looking at our state symbols. Um, we've got solid calcium carbonate, aqueous hydrochloric acid and calcium chloride, liquid water and gaseous CO2. And here's a nice picture of what's going on. The student measured the mass and contents for 10 minutes. The results are shown in the graph. Use the graph to answer the questions. Right, so question 1A, complete the graph by drawing a line of best fit. As you know, I can't draw straight onto this app because somehow it freezes my pain. But just make sure you've got a nice smooth curve being drawn and you need to ignore the anomalous result which lies between 4 and 5 minutes because they'll deduct the mark if you include that. So it's worth circling, ignoring it and drawing a straight line that goes past it. Question 1A, part 2, use the graph to find the mass of the flask and contents after 1.8 minutes. Please don't ever lose marks for these questions, they're basically free marks. just means that you need to accurately read off your reading at 1.8 minutes. And they're quite generous with the answers they'll accept. They'll accept anything between 100.35 to 100.5, so please don't lose the mark there. Right, now we get into the nitty gritty of it. Part 3, the rate of reaction can be measured by... The steepness of the graph line. Describe as fully as you can how the rate of reaction changes with time in this experiment. So here we're being asked to describe, and that's obviously very different from explain. Describe literally means say what you see. Explain means say why what has happened has happened. Okay, so this is nice and straightforward. You're saying what you can see from the graph. Now, you can see that because the graph line is really steep at the beginning and then it kind of plateaus out, it just kind of flattens... What that tells us is the reaction goes very quickly at the start and then the reaction stops. So that's what you would need to say for both marks, that the reaction goes quickly at first and then the reaction slows down or stops. They'll accept both answers. But again, you're describing, you're saying what you see. Okay, part B. The mass of the flask and contents decrease during the experiment. Use the equation for this reaction to help you explain why. Right, what is it we're really measuring? Well, we're actually looking and at the picture they provide them. We can see that there's cotton wool there, not a rubber bung. And automatically that tells us that the cotton wool can allow gas to escape. Now, what's escaping? We look back at our balanced equation and we see that CO2 is a gas. Therefore, as it's released by the reaction of hydrochloric acid and marble chips, CO2 will literally be released and it will escape out the top of the conical flask. Because the gas is escaping, we'll see that the mass decreases. So looking back at part B again, use the equation for this reaction to help you explain why. What you need to say here is for the first mark, because carbon dioxide is produced, and for the second mark, carbon dioxide is a gas and therefore escapes, leading to the mass, mass of the flask and contents decreasing. Don't worry too much about the detail on the second part, just say that the carbon dioxide escapes. Moving on, 1C, a balance is used to measure the mass of the apparatus, which balance, A, B or C, has the highest res resolution? Resolution basically means has the highest accuracy and obviously that will be balance B because that records to two decimal places. So your answer is balance B. 1C part 2, the balance used for this experiment should have a high resolution. Explain why. Well, the reason why is because what are we interested in is the mass of the carbon dioxide escaping. Because carbon dioxide is a gas, obviously its mass is going to be tiny. So you need a really high resolution balance in order to actually detect that change in mass. If you had one that had zero decimal places measured to, you wouldn't actually notice any change and there'd be no measurement to take. So just to condense that, what you need to say for your first mark is because the experiment involves a gas escaping and a gas has a very um, low mass, so a balance needs to have high resolution in order to measure this change in mass. 1D, the student repeated the experiment using powdered marble instead of marble chips. The rate of reaction between the marble and hydrochloric acid particles was much faster with the powder. Explain why? Well, this is a collision theory question. It's a straightforward question about surface area. 
So first of all, you need to say that the marble powder has a larger surface area. And for the second mark, you need to say that more collisions occur. And that's literally it. Don't say anything more than that. Don't waste your time filling in those lines. That's all you need. I hope you found that helpful. I'm going to, I need to stop now because I need to go do some work. But I'll see you guys next time. Bye.